Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love episode 80. Let's go ahead and get started. Sorry, I have my baby right on my lap and I'm using my shirt as his little blanket right now because I forgot to grab one, so yeah. Operation True Love. Doa. Do you really live at Riverview Palace? Ugh. What? Well, everyone keeps saying you have a place to yourself there. <laughs> it's burdensome that I can't satisfy their wild expectations. In that sense, their assumptions about me are cruel. What? Doa lives at Riverview Palace? Wow, he really has everything. He looks like that and he's rich? God. In reality, I don't live up to their expectations at all. They come up with those on their own and get all disappointed. No. But in the end, who I am becomes a weakness. Uh, Doa really has everything. What the hell? Doa actually has nothing. Growing from the guy who had everything to the guy with nothing was too easy. I was just too honest. Uh, well, <laughs> all of this is just an excuse. Oh, hold on. Operation True Love, Episode 80. Sebul? I'm sorry, I cannot read Korean and I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, so please forgive me. It's a restaurant. Slide. Oh, so loud. Are we even sure Doa really lives at Riverview Palace? Uh, yes, I saw him. I saw him entering Riverview Palace. Whoa, Doa lives here? Damn. Ring, ring. Hey, you'll never believe who I just saw. The first thing I thought then was, what a relief I'm on a pickup run. That I wasn't holding a bunch of dry cleaning I was delivering. That was all. Then why can't he just say so? Hey, the true rich kids don't show it. That doesn't sound right. Or maybe he doesn't want people knowing about his private life. Can't you tell by how he dresses? Even today, he wore golden goose. That's like 800,000 won. Ugh, don't, be je don't be jealous. It's a bad luck. Oh, shoot, I'm not jealous. Laundry storage period, three months from the date of cleaning. This establishment is not liable for any items that are not collected after three months. This is in line with Article 11, Paragraph 1 of the Consumer Protection Act, Standard Terms and Conditions for a Laundry Business. I'm heading out. Doa, wait. What is it? I was going to get rid of these unclaimed items. If you want anything from here, take it. What? Can I? They're going to be thrown out anyways. The people in this neighborhood have too much stuff, too wealthy for their own good. Oh, so that's how I got them. These were that expensive? Doa, I heard you live at Riverview Palace. Hey Doa, can I come over to your place? Doa, is your mom really an actress? Doa, 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 those shoes are really, uh, those are the real deal, right? They look so good on you. Hey, Doa, you're paying today, right? You're rich. Doa, 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 can I come over to your place? I've always wanted to see Riverview Palace. My place? Uh, maybe another time. 
I don't like people coming into my space. Why do you ask? Are you going to come to my house? You've crossed the line. I've never actually said that I lived at Riverview Palace. So I didn't lie. But people generally have high expectations for me. And I just let them continue to think what they want. Kari Laundry. Kari Laundry. Collection slash delivery. So my scam is 50% out of be benevolence. Maybe that's cowardly. I didn't want to lie. I'm back. Nice work. And I'd rather die than tell. Moran Middle School. Some high school girls came here yesterday to see Doa. Are you serious? How can high school girls see a middle schooler as a man? Doa's not just any middle schooler. He's on another level. <laughs> he could probably get 20, 20 year, year olds to like him. Ugh. Whoa, Doa, how many girls confessed to you this month? Confessed? Don't know, I didn't count. Kind of cocky, aren't you? <laughs> Still, respect. Doe is the most handsome at our school. Huh? Staying the obvious, are you? How do you? How do you really? How did you really just say that? That hurts. Why? Are you hurt? It's the truth. Stay out of it, Eugene. Doe is way prettier than you. What? What do you say, asshole? Middle school. Man, I was young and inexperienced, so I was honest to a fault. Come in. I knew nothing back then. What do you feel like having? I didn't know that sometimes you need to lie a little. But I learned that firsthand soon enough. Huh? The cost of ignorance is bitter when it comes without warning. Arcos Arts Theater. <gasps> All the music notes that he's able to... <sighs> okay. That's a little dark. Not like dark, dark as in like is gory or, you know, but to have a glimpse into what Doa had went through since he was young till now and how, you know, people just assumed things about him. And of course, he didn't want to say anything because obviously he did show us and tell us that he didn't know anything when he was younger and he was always so truthful. And because of that truth, people honestly turned on him. The moment they realize he's of no value, they do that. And so I guess that's why he moved schools and that's why he is where he is now, where he met all these people, especially, especially Sue. But the, the thing is like, I think the wa reason why he's so drawn to Sue is because she saw where he lived like she went to his place already and took care of him when he was sick and she didn't judge him or saw him any different like he she was willing to be there as a friend and i think that's so refreshing to him because i guess he's been so isolated majority of his life that he kind of gravitates towards her so it kind of makes sense so far but now it looks like we're about, about to have a deep dive ah okay all right, if you guys enjoy the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!